I've got what I believe is an unpopular opinion. I don't think that the next progression for a real estate agent must be that they build a team. I know a lot of agents that run really, really good teams. I know a few agents that run so-so teams, which is my opinion, which means that that is not valid, right? My point is this, the next stage of growth for you as an agent to show to your community, to show on Facebook, your next stage of growth doesn't mean that you have to start a team. Quite frankly, it's really sexy to run a boring one person operation that's highly profitable, that ends up adding little services here and there that make your customer experience much, much better or more enhanced. So it starts with you, the agent, giving yourself permission to say, I don't have to build a team to be successful. I don't have to build a team for my peers around me to think that I'm good at my job. Now, this is not pointed at anyone. This is just simply to say that it's going to start with you. You don't have to have a team to show your next stage of growth. Your next stage of growth might be a contracts, a close coordinator. It might be a, a showing agent. It might be someone that helps you earn even more money by yourself, right? So consider that. It doesn't mean that you can't have a team. It doesn't mean that you have to be on your own. It, it, it doesn't mean that I'm against teams at all. It's just something that I've noticed through my consulting and, and teaching and mentoring with agents. It's not something that has to happen. And you're not wrong for having a team, right? Again, this is pointed at no one. It's just something I've been noticing and experiencing um, over the years and just wanted to share that thought with you.